Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm going to be doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time for the Game Jolt New Year's Jam. It was a 48-hour jam that Game Jolt put on uh, for the, to kick in the New Year's. It had like six or seven challenges, but no real theme. And we're going to play all 50 games that were entered. For about a minute each, we're going to do 10 per video, so there should be five videos in the series. Um, these videos take a lot to make. Um, if you at any point want to play one of the games, there'll be links in the descriptions with the titles. And please leave a like and comment and tell me what you think and your favorite game and stuff. Anyway, next. Next we're playing the game Purgatory. This is a story slash game is partially based on Catholic beliefs and a few artistic interpretations. So this should be interesting. What is your name? Alright. Put Jupe. Um no. Chapter one. You're not a religious person. You don't do any of the things religious people do. Frankly, you don't care. One of your acquisitions at work, however, is a fervent Catholic. You went with him once to one of his community Bible studies out of curiosity. You found it uninteresting and you regret it even more because now your coworker keeps on trying to get you to attend one more time. It's been a month now and you've just about had it with the da guy's daily pleats. You agreed to attend one last time. You went to the auditorium of the community building where your coworker hails to you from the second of, to the furthest right table. You sit beside him at the table. He introduces you to his Konori group, or KK for short. They welcome you warmly. Your coworker also introduces you to another person he invites to the Bible study, a young woman named Guavin. You give your hellos and introduce yourself as Jupy. After much chatting with the new girl, you and the group turn their attention to your facilitator, the head of RD, who brings up the topic of rapture. So let's learn about this girl. You see Winnie, an attractive young woman in her early 20s. She has short brown hair, different colored eyes, one crystal blue and the other light green. She's wearing a black hoodie and a pair of jeans. You introduce yourself to her. Well, the thing is, I'm a girl, so awkward. Um, we'll click this one. Next, we're playing New Year's Mystique. It's New Year's Eve. Jump over the waves and collect the lucky coins. Beware of barracudas. Oh, look at this happy little person. Why are there just coins floating in the sky? The thing is, every time I click up, my screen moves up. So I guess we'll just jump. Okay. Look at us catching all these coins. That looks like a scary little shark thing. Oop. I died. Anyway, next. Next we're playing Alatory. It looks kind of like poker. So we're going to check. We've got nothing. Like, literally nothing. And apparently we don't get to fold, so we're just going to keep on checking. Oh, I had a pair of jacks. I didn't even notice. Uh, he had a pair of ace, or a pair of six and an ace, a pair of aces, so he won. Next. Okay, so, seven, seven, two, we got nothing. Why can't we fold? Oh, yeah, let's fold. All right. This is me, folded player. Just two kings and just two sixes, but I got nothing. So one more round. I like how the table changes color. <laughs> Three nines. Holy shit, if only we had a nine. Oh, we got a pair of fives. Let's raise. We also don't know how much money we have total, do we? Nope. So we're going to check our pair of fives. We're going to check again. Yeah, we won. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Next, we're playing I Must Run Until I Die. Which sounds like a very fun game, actually. I'm just raising the sound real quick. Alright, so. Oh, so this guy flies. You're not even running, man. You're flying. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, sorry about that. He was kind of fast. What happens? Oh, oh, taking damage. The first time I played it, you didn't take damage. So I was just seeing if it had been updated because I was checking out this game and I was like, this is so cool. I just love the point of view and like the graphic style and stuff. Just very, very, very good. 
Very good. Whoop. Whoop. Alright, we got this. I must run until I die. Wait, there's a heart there. There's a heart there. It's like balls now. There's so much new stuff. This is really nice. Alright, we got another heart. It's okay, we're doing great. Our minute's up though, so next. Next we're playing the game, um, The Night Crisis Project. Oh, I have a gun. Too bad I have to move WASD and I'm not going to be able to even use my gun well. Alright, it is. Shit, my battery's dying. How do I move my U around? I don't know the controls very well, but it doesn't look like the mouse is doing anything for me. Oh wait, how do I shoot again? I don't know how to do anything, do I? Let's see. Let's go to options, actually. Audio graphics set. Just like, not a... Not a way to like... Alright, let's look down here. Um, it doesn't tell us how to play, so I'm just going to assume it's not done. I don't know. Next we're playing SCT, which probably stands for something. I don't know what though. WSD, arrow keys are how we're gonna play. Um, should we do the tutorial? Yeah, let's do the tutorial. Stay out of the light. Red light will attract attention. Can we use arrow keys? No, arrow keys to like swivel weirdly. Okay. There's a tutorial, so there are no enemies and no consequences. Just give it a feel for the controls. Okay. I like the light very, very much. Please get comfortable. The test will begin. Soon. Oh, I think I, I went weird. I'm very comfortable with moving on. I'm done. I, I want to play the game now. I guess I can only show you the tutorial because I don't know how to like escape. Maybe. All right, let's just try to get into level one real quick. Never finish the tutorial. Damn it! I don't know. Next. Alright, so next we're playing Powerless. Alright, click to start. Not tough. You are not strong. You are not fast. Well, I picked this one. There's how I feel. Oh, God. You're not fast at all, man. You're actually really slow. And you can't shoot that way. Can you? Well, you can. How do we get this guy to be faster? Oh, I meant to pick the skinny one. I did pick the one that's not fast. It was stupid of me. I like what he shoots out of his mouth. I wish he shot the other way, though. Not sure how to get him. Oh, wait. Duh, I just need to face the other way and hit the shooty thing. It's like Binding of Isaac. Alright, so let's, let's start, you know, exploring, maybe. Do you guys jump when I jump? Looks kind of like you do. Get away from me. Get away! No, 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 bad ghost. Bad ghost demon thing. Okay. This game's cute. I like this game. This game makes me happy. There's some ghosts following me, but I want to kill the whatever's... Whatever's shooting me, I want that thing dead. Well, you managed to make 5,527 points. Good job, I guess. Also, you reached level 4. What a joke. Why don't you try again? Hello, just kidding. Alright, so yeah, next. Next, we're playing another text-based adventure called The Trenches. Alright. You hear a bullet pass your helmet, and you slam yourself against the dirt. You hear someone shout from behind you. Ah, uh, yeah. You know that you're pushing forward, and you pull yourself off the dirt and peer over the trench to see what's coming. This hadn't happened before, and you know it was only a matter of time before they got here and raised your gun and opened fire at the unhuman soldiers. The ones you shoot drop to the ground, shouting in pain. You look at your right, and you see men dropping on your boat. On 
Graham, I'll be back with bolts on them. You remember your wife and your kids and your brother, and most of all, who was here with you, and you turn and look at him. You don't see him. You know that somewhere here that he only left for a sec few seconds before they came. You run to your right. You begin pushing past people as they helplessly try to shoot back, but eventually get shot themselves. You trip over a dead body, and when you look at his face, you remember he was in your school. He was your best friend. He was taken out, and no one heard from him since. You hear another shot, and you see people getting to the barbed wire, so you continue running. Then as you turn a corner, you see him, your brother, lying on the floor, trying to crawl backwards, and you see the bullet in his right leg. You jump to him and try to lift him, and as you do, you realize how heavy he is. Um, I lost where I was. And drop him. You drop him to the ground and pull on his front. You say slowly as tears run down your house, niche brother. He opens his mouth and says something softly. Find Kurt. He he tried to run. I lost him. I lo he slowly takes his last breath and flops. You shake your head slowly and tears drop down your eyes. You hear the soldiers coming, then you know you're about to come around the corner. So you, this is obviously like a fallen story. So I've run, but we're out of time, so next. Next, we're playing Brobish Studios The Hobbit. I actually don't know what to do to play this game. No, oh, episode one. This is like weird shit happening. I don't know what to do. Um, got some blubbery thing up there. Is there any controls down here? I don't know what this is. Not sure what's happening. It's taking forever. And it's weird. I don't know what to do, so... Oh, wait. There's a weird hobbit guy. I don't know what I should be doing, so I'm just gonna say next. Next! Um, next I would be playing another zombie game, but I played through it, and I don't know how to shoot, basically. It doesn't tell you how to shoot, it says use on uh, your mouse to move, but it doesn't click, click, nothing happens. And also, each room we go into records a separate file because it, like, changes the size. So, check this game out. Next.